Chapter Three and a Half Sleep Hid in Shadows A Friend Lost in Dark Questions Rain and Wind Outside Jess lay in bed, the note from her lost best friend clutched tight in her hand. She'd read and reread it enough times now that the words ran through her head without having to turn on the light to see them. The idea that had tickled and tugged in her mind since Mark's mom first called was alive and in her room with her. She knew, in some deep kind of way, that Mark was not anywhere on the road to Spokane. He never had been. She could feel where he was heading, and her body shivered at the thought. She reached out through the miles and the storm that wetted and shook her windows. She reached out with her heart to her friend, wandering wherever he was. She could feel him, she thought. That was the kind of friendship they had. She could feel his hurt. Why? she asked the darkness. She knew, she thought, where he was going. She knew, she thought, what he was doing. The question that growled in the darkness at her was, why? But there were two wolves growling in the darkness. The one that growled why was followed by a darker, quieter growl that answered. And she liked the answer even less than she liked the question. It chased all sleep out of the room. She loved her friend, and she didn't know how to help him. Because the question she wanted to shout back at the wolves in the darkness was, if she knew where Mark was going, and if she was right about why he was going there, then should she tell? She needed to know. Would her best friend choose to die? What had made him run?